Well, hello. Hi, Maria. Hi, Aya. It's nice to see nice you. Nice to see you. Welcome to Little Bits. Thank you. So for those of us who don't know, what exactly are Little Bits? So a little bit is a system of electronic building blocks. Um, each uh, bit is a circuit that's pre-assembled and pre-engineered so that kids can invent and be creative with technology without having any experience. With it. What kind of things can we make with it? You can make musical walls like this one. You can make wireless robots. You can make pinball machines. Can I take one home for my office? Sure. A little heavy to carry. <laughs> so how old were you when you first got the seed of the idea? I was about 29 when I started the company, but I started working on little bits when I was at about 27. How did you stumble on the idea? Um, I'm an engineer and I always was interested in art and design with engineering and so I wanted to make engineering accessible to people everywhere, including kids. So can you walk me through the history a little bit? Sure, so this is a very early prototype. It's a cardboard prototype of blocks and trying to think about how they work together. There's about 27 different prototypes of magnets and connectors and circuits up until you get to the very first version that we started selling in 2011. But what are you working on now that you're excited about? We just finished a very, very exciting partnership that we did with Star Wars. We did a, a droid inventor kit to allow kids everywhere to invent their own droids. Can you show me? Yeah, let's show it. So when you were five, what did you want to be? I wanted to be an architect. An architect. And when did you first start playing around with tech and engineering? I had chemistry sets and electricity kits when I was young, so I guess I was always a tinkerer. So did you go to MIT with the idea that you were going to start a business? No, not at all. I actually wanted to work at IDEO, which is one of my favorite design companies. What do you do now to relax after a bad day? I love swimming. It's very relaxing for me. Oh, Star Wars. Is this R2-D2? So this is our latest partnership. We just launched this a few weeks ago. It's a partnership with Star Wars. You can make your own R2 unit, but you can also, we enable kids to invent their own droid, whatever they can imagine. So what's your target demographic? So we say 8 and up, but it's uh, really the sweet spot's 8 to 12. Um, and what's the craziest thing that's ever happened at a focus group? Every week we have focus groups and every week we have crazier things. Once we had kids come in all dressed up in Star Wars outfits because they knew they were doing Star Wars and it was amazing. It's like Halloween every day. Exactly. Can we build something? Yeah, let's do it. So what are we going to make? So first things first, it's what we call the first snap in the Droid Inventor Kit. Oh, that's R2. The idea is that you can snap any input and any output. So this is a temperature sensor. I can snap it to this number bit, and now I have the temperature displayed. Oh, yeah. And if I heat it up, the temperature will go up. And then you can try here. You can try to snap this okay. pink module with a green module. Oh, wow. <laughs> can I take this home? Yeah, make it adorable. Excellent. Thank you.